FEMA says it has received a record number of applications for aid following Ida, and many of those applicants are still waiting to get that much needed aid. They tell us the process is not easy. Here's Candace Charles. Everything is soaked. Brandy Bourgeois fled her home in Jefferson Parish the day before Hurricane Ida made landfall. Friday was the first time in nearly a week that she was able to return home. There's just no way to live here, and I don't know where we're going to live. A peeled off roof, water damage, mold. It's what's left of her home. She says she filed insurance claims Saturday before Ida hit, but with a host of uncertainty in that process, she applied for FEMA assistance Monday. Applying was not easy. Just making your password was not easy. The next day, she found that she was denied, but was approved for $500 in miscellaneous funds. She has yet to see that money and knows it won't be enough to support her family. I have kids that are counting on me. I, I don't know what to tell them. I try not to let them see me cry, but I, I don't I don't know what to tell them. Now Bourgeois is one of hundreds of thousands waiting for FEMA funding. Many applicants were denied, but to the immigrant community, just being an applicant is a privilege many of them are not provided. It's the same thing that everyone's going through, but they're not going to get a FEMA check. They're not going to get their hotels reimbursed. Alfredo Salazar and Rachel Tabor of Union Migrante have been helping immigrants impacted by Hurricane Ida, the organization that's transported evacuees to Panama. Panama City, but with many immigrant evacuees lacking a social security card, they're unable to apply for financial assistance, no matter how bad they may need it. We're seeing again uh, a government system that favors the rich and leaves behind uh, the poor working class and those who are undocumented. Candace Charles, Eyewitness News.